So I wanted to do a follow up on yesterday, but it should have been Friday's video. I mean, it wouldn't have come up really, but like, <laughs> um, I, yeah, I'm sort of glad I did it yesterday so that I had like, uh, enough information to do it yesterday. Um, but I, I feel like I didn't include enough about the police brutality stuff and the fact that, um, you know, police disarming the common person isn't leftist praxis, uh, for the libertarian argument. Um, and the only way it can work is for an authoritarian argument where you want to, you know, be a tyrant or a tyrant adjacent person. Um, also, I made sure to test the audio first before I fucking did things today because um, I nobody has said anything about the muddy audio on the other one, but like it was bad and I could have tested it first. My mic can have issues. Um, but it's only if the cable's not right or something. So, you know, if I fuck with it enough, it's fine. Um, so that's, that's, you know, either way, the point is that, like, I didn't include what I wanted to in that one. It was sort of rushed. Um, so this will be sort of just a cap on that one, which is that um, the whole idea, the whole notion of, um, you know, cops disarming people... Um, it, like, has a linchpin in a lot of people's minds. Well, what if they're mentally ill? You know, shouldn't they Shouldn't they have their guns taken away if they're mentally ill? If, if we can establish that there's some sort of mental illness? And, um, no. So, first off, um, I think we should bring up the fact that at a base level, um... Just in the same way that last video went when I talked about this, like, cops aren't necessarily mentally well to begin with. A group of people who is responsible for that much gun violence, despite making up a small percentage of the population, um, you know, the cops, um, that, that's like not the ideal candidate. For mental health awareness. Additionally, you know, while I'm at it, um, th they they fucking have such a high domestic violence rate that it's a meme, a forty percent meme. So like, I'm not sure these people are the bastions of mental health who should be screening people um, and making sure that they're fucking awesome. Like they literally do shit for a living that only somebody who is severely morally and psychologically compromised would do. So, and then there's the, the whole idea of, of, of cops um, who regularly uh, get off on fucking, like, posing with things that they stole from the common person. Um, you know, saying they're doing it for mental health? No, you're doing it so that you have more guns, you know, so that you can either sell them or plant them as evidence or, you know, fucking uh, get them destroyed. But you're not doing any of this for mental health at all. Um, and generally speaking, uh, when I see a cop, my stress level increases even if I'm not doing anything against the law, um, to my knowledge anyway, because the common person commits like multiple felonies a day because there are too many fucking laws on the book. And by the way, I, you know, I'm speaking in averages, right? I'm not speaking in like the specific day. There's a possibility you can go through an entire day without committing a felony, but like it's close enough, you know? Like, so let, let's be super clear here and say that these people are part of, of a, a racket that fucks with people's mental health, that cements the system that can, keeps their mental health bad. Because without the law enforcement officers, these people's mental health um, would probably be better. 
because the state wouldn't have the mechanism to keep people in line and following its edicts. Um, and so the best possible case is that you get a cop who is mentally at least a little bit okay, and he comes up and tries to be fucking reasonable, right? Disarming this person that the state has deemed mentally ill. Well, Operation Vigilant Eagle was a thing for a really long time that monitored veterans as domestic terrorists. And a lot of people are starting to see the results of that sort of made manifest um, in the uh, FBI thing that I went over in another video, the FBI report about all these, you know, patriot organizations that thought they were going to have the backing of the government, even though they were going against them. And then they're like, oh, gosh darn it. The FBI, they're, they're, they're calling me a gosh darn terrorist. What will I ever do? And yeah, they're going to do that when you, when you go against them because the terror distinction was never real. It was never for anything but suppression. Um, and usually, uh, the same can be said for mental health to at least some extent. Like, mental health is sort of an arbitrary thing. Like, there are some clearly mentally unwell people, right? And I'm not saying that there aren't. Like, you know, a cop who beats his wife and then the the department, which is partially affiliated with local gangs um, or just acting as the local gang, the department doesn't do shit about it because back the blue, a uh, thin blue line kind of thing. So she can't report it. It doesn't get anywhere if she tries. And the judges are on the sides of these cops because it's a big fucking criminal racket. Um, You know, but that aside, you know, I mean... <laughs> These people, the bastions of mental health, saying that somebody is mentally ill, that could be just an arbitrary thing. You know, they could say that bipolar one people like me uh, shouldn't have uh, access to firearms because we have been prone to unstable moods. And they could say that we can't own guns. Legally, anyway. I mean, it'd still happen. But, like, they could say that uh, if they got their way. If they got these mental health things. And then, like, you get into the place where you're talking like Nine Inch Nails is year zero or something. Where there's parapin that they stick in the water. And if you stop drinking your parapin, you're going to uh, stop, you know, being so placid and docile. Like, your mental health will be so damaged by not consuming the government's water trains are really loud here now um hey it's a reminder of what happens if we get disarmed uh but the point is that like you know it'll be like that or it'll be like soma or it'll be like you know just so many fucking things like these drugs in these fucking movies and and dystopian books that keep you fucking knuckled under anybody who doesn't take things like that some point could just be considered mentally unwell because they're acting out. Any law that says that there's a certain standard of mental health, which involves a lot of soft sciences, evaluations, second opinions, and things like that, is, is a valid way to disarm somebody. Is, is telling the government that it's okay for them to determine your mental state and then use it as an excuse to determine your ability to defend yourself. That's evil. That's really fucking bad. What's more, the state doesn't give a fuck about mentally ill people. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep so many of them fucking homeless. And they wouldn't have people who are mentally ill and homeless and treat it like fucking Kelly Thomas. Screaming for his mother and father as they've broke his fucking head in. And hey, 
Maybe drug use is also a symptom of mental unwellness, but they still use drug use as an excuse to kill people. Maybe that's a fucking bad thing. And we shouldn't be empowering those people with a power differential. And maybe the war on drugs has also been used as an excuse to, you know, fucking steal from people. So maybe the asset forfeiture thing, where they just get to open your trunk and take your briefcase of money that was your, like, life's savings or something, because they fucking can and because nobody is stopping them. You know, maybe that is a reason that these drug laws and that the cops' enforcement of drug use, um, maybe that's the reason it's a bad fucking thing. Because it's a racket from start to finish. You know, and maybe drug use and mental health are both connected, and if the society was better, drug use would fall. And mental health would improve. And people wouldn't be so addicted and or dangerous. But we can't have that. We've got to have people saying, oh no, if you're too mentally unwell for me specifically, you get to be disarmed. Well, what about the mentally unwell? We should be able to take guns from them. First off, don't fucking wee me. Don't fucking wee me. Fuck you. You're not doing it. You're hoping a cop does it on your behest. If people had to do this shit on their own, normally, they'd be scared shitless like the little fucking feckless cowards they are. And they wouldn't be, like, have, they wouldn't have this fucking obsequious bullshit where they're like, oh yeah, let me bootlick to the system and make sure that I can get my way. You know? Because these people are mentally unwell. And then you get into the super evil territory where basically, wrong think is considered mental illness. They can just say, hey, those leftists, they're mentally unwell. They're talking about communism and subversion and separation. And we must call them mentally unwell and police their neighborhoods and knuckle them under in schools and call them super predators and shit like that. That's my Republican. And then, oh no! Fucking, huh, hmm, these, these Republicans, they're mentally unwell. Look at them in their MAGA hats. They're practically fascists. We gotta control them and stop them from doing anything we don't like. And both would happen. You know? Republicans have been responsible for a huge amount of gun control. The NRA has been responsible for a huge amount of gun control. And ultimately, it's not fucking good for the common person. And the Democrats are obviously in favor of gun control. All of them are. And then it's like sensible. But then they're like, oh, well, we've got to ban the AR-15 style rifle. The AK style rifle. There is no style, you cunt. It's not a style. It's not style, it's a model. And if your gun isn't that model, it's not an AR-15. Don't say style. We know what you're fucking saying. You're saying that if it looks like that gun, we want to ban it no matter what it does or whether or not it meets legal specifications because really we just want to disarm people to push our fucking political agenda. You know, maybe that's a bad fucking thing and a goddamn stupid president. Whatever, precedent, president, you know, whether or not that was a fucking slur. I think the whole fucking thing is wrong, even if they're mentally unwell. Because then somebody could just say, well, you know, the perp was acting agitated, so I shot him. And look, I found this weapon on him. And people would be like, yeah, we believe you, thin blue line, better to be carried by blah, 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 blah. It's fucking evil. 
Especially since that gun could have come from an evidence lockup, because they get so many of them from stealing them. So maybe, don't be like that. Maybe don't empower the kinds of fascists that would disempower minorities if you're a leftist or, you know, allegedly some sort of alternative to Republicans in the Democrat Party. Maybe don't fucking do that because you're contributing to the same kinds of evil that you claim to hate. And maybe if you're a Republican, don't enable it by saying, you know, oh, we've got to have some sort of gun control like Reagan did. So many of them do, and it's fine. Or due process later, like Trump said, you know, I like to take the guns first, due process later. He was defending taking guns from people the state deems mentally unwell. Proving my point. You get no due process. We say your head ain't right, so you shouldn't be able to defend yourself. Fuck you. That's the new Republican ethos. And then you just gotta call people crazy. Hey! I wonder if anybody I know has been called crazy. Looking in the mirror, I see a crazy person. It must be me that they have called crazy. You know? So maybe I've got a fucking stake in this. Hey, you know, just a thought. Don't enable tyranny under the guise of supporting mental health. If the lockdowns taught us anything, it's that the government solutions to things are really fucking bad for mental health, and they will make all of our health worse in the fucking long run. Can you do that? Can you use your thinking parts and say, hey, maybe a stressful system of top-down control benefiting those with money and shafting those who have none, or in the future society... Uh, benefiting those who switch seamlessly to the cashless future and fucking over everybody who won't take the mark of the beast, maybe that system is bad for fucking mental health. And maybe, maybe we shouldn't be enabling a system that creates that to begin with to have a greater power differential than they already do. Because that is already the reason that every single one of us should do everything we can to smash the fucking state.